Kyle Dixon here again for another post. Uh, I thought I'd share an acronym with you all uh, in reference of a certain word, a certain term that a lot of people say all the time, especially when I'm working with some of my, my young folk, my young students, my young scholars. And that acronym is FOCUS, right? F-O-C-U-S. So a lot of times we say focus, you need to focus, you need to bear down and like, you know, concentrate, right? This is what we're talking about, right? So the F and focus, we're getting others and objects creating unnecessary stress, right? So we all have these things in society that are taking our time away from things that may be more important, right? We have the cell phone, right? We have the friends, right? We have the family, we have the TV, the shows, all these different things, right? And again, when we're talking about focusing, right? We're talking about taking those things away that cause unnecessary stress in our lives that takes away from what we really want to achieve and accomplish. So with this acronym and, 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 and you recognizing what each letter stands for, it's a reminder for you that if you're going towards your goal, you have to be focused. You have to be able to concentrate on the things that matter. Time is a valuable, valuable asset. You cannot waste it. So when we talk about focus and concentration and achieving goals, those go hand in hand. So again, family, I just want you to make sure that you recognize this, and recognize when people say to focus, when people say to be able to go for your goals and your dreams, this is what they're talking about. And always remember this too, where your energy flows, your attention goes, and where your attention goes, your energy flows as well, right? Thank you.